what does anything but a book bag mean for you? Um, I think it means anything but a backpack. Like, just bring whatever you want. You know? Yeah. Not a shopping cart. It's that steel. <laughs> What'd you bring today? I brought. Let me get it. <laughs> All right, Soraya, how do you feel about this week's theme or this today's theme? I mean, this week's themes are like the best. I mean, they're the best themes ever. Like, we never had themes like this, so I mean, why not? How are you feeling about today's theme? Really excited. You know, I thought this may be a little too big, so I thought Shidrick would yell at me, but no, he thought it was funny. So, right. another W today at the nest, I don't know. <laughs> How are you feeling about today's theme? I feel like today's theme is lit. I feel like it's good. Um, I've seen a lot of creative things. I've seen a wagon. I've seen a basketball hoop. I think the theme is really good. What's up, Seahawks? I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. You know, tomorrow's Tuesday, second day. It's going to be White Lie Tuesdays. Make sure to bring your best White Lie. All right, let's get it going. What are you wearing today for today's theme? Latest I've ever been on time. Okay. I don't know. Johanna, what about you? Um, I don't have anger issues when I play soccer. Okay. What, you got a problem? And guys, look at mine. <laughs> guys, look at mine. Uh oh. It's, it's, I didn't fall at my job, and then here's a close-up of me falling. <laughs> Now. What are you wearing today? I'm wearing a, a shirt that says uh, no seat time uh, okay. and no FAs. No thanks. <laughs> I can't have carbs in my uh, I'm, what's up? I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not a guy. Can I yeah. see yours? I love Crocs and Crocs. What's your say? I didn't fall. Kalia, what are you wearing today? This is my white lie. I'm the nicest person. Oh, you <laughs> sure are. <laughs> What are you wearing today? Mine says, born in uh, HHL, born in Red. Oh, okay. do me, do me. Mine says, I love the school. I love the school. I hate it. What are you wearing today, Naya? Um, I don't talk that much. <laughs> what does your shirt say? I'm the best driver in the room. Perfect. Says, what does your shirt say? It says, I like you. Perfect. Oh, uh, this is Mr. Ah, Johnson. How does it? I have a broken head. <laughs> well, this is Miss Lee's costume, everyone. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, keep rolling. Okay, I'm ready. All right. It's, it was fine. It's fine. It was just a cornhole accident. <laughs> Everything was fine. <laughs> And they got mad at me, so they threw a cornhole at me. They did. They did. <laughs> so, this looks very entertaining. <laughs> Thank you. How do you like the, today's theme? Great. What happened to your knees? Um, so I sprayed my knee in powder puff. This girl, like, you know. Oh wait, you actually hurt yourself? No. Oh, oh. Wow, mom's on. That little cone isn't stopping anybody from using the bathroom. All right. <laughs> But this is. Oh, now I know not to go to the bathroom. 
you. What are you wearing today? Construction gear. Love it. Where'd you get that vest from? Amazon. Perfect. What are you wearing today for construction day? For construction day, I'm wearing my hard hat and I've got my clipboard with my job materials in it. Perfect. Reporting live, the middle school has been under construction and Miss Lee and Jude are helping out this year. Safety first. Hello. <laughs> Alright, Connor, what are you wearing today? So, we got the Jester shorts from Miss Gwen. We got the Sparkle jacket from Miss Gwen. Because, you know, seniors are royalty today. It's Friday. Get ready for the game. So, so how do you feel about the pep rally? I feel honest? really high up. Wait, I'm so excited for it. Wait. So Miss Monty, this is a new Hilton Head Island High School tradition. So we got three on three basketball and cornhole. So um, in your opinion, do you think this should be a new uh, homecoming tradition? I do. I think that it's a really great experience for the kids that they get to get out of the classroom and watch their classmates play their teachers in different sports. I think we should even add more options so that there's more places for the kids to go during this time. And then do you think this has helped with like school spirit this week? Oh yeah, 100%. I think I've seen the most participation in like the um, the spirit wear, and the kids are more excited to be here this week.
Cheese. I'm the journalism teacher. So this is now our segment called Rate That Door. This has become a, a homecoming tradition, part of the new show. So what we're doing is we're going around. We're going to show you some of the best doors that have been de decorated for homecoming. And we're giving it one of three ratings. Number one is gold. So awesome job. Two is silver. So a rating of two is a silver placement. And then a rating of three is a bronze placement. So we're just rating one, two, or three. One being the best, two being silver, and then three being bronze. Then at the end of the show, we're going to show you what we think is the best doors that were decorated for homecoming. And then later on, you're going, we're going to compare it to the actual homecoming door decorating winners that are going to be announced at the pep rally to see if the journalism class and the actual judges are... Uh, are on the same page with the door of the doors. So here we are. Let's go. Rate that door. This is Mr. Kingsley's door, and we give it a one. This is Miss Cassidy's door, and we rate it a one. Um, this is Miss Hollison's door, and we rate it a two. This is Miss Deterris's door, and the journalism class rates this one a one. <laughs> this is Miss Fees's door, and we, we give, give it a, a one, one because, because we did it. We did it. This is Miss Bodie's room, and I give it a one because it has our principal, Mr. Shitter. <laughs> this is Mr. Ramdell's room, and the journalism class gives it a two. This is Miss Whitey Camper's room, and I give it a one because just look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Slug. <laughs> this is Miss Emmerich's room, and Mr. Tester's room, and I give it a one because. Good teamwork. This is Miss Felix's room, and I give it a one um, because it was very creative. And here are the helpers. It is what we read in classes, incorporating our academics and with our school spirit. Do you see the quote? It's alive. It's what we read Very nice. This is Miss Beach's door. Um, I give this a one because she slayed. And then you have the hallway. Beautiful holly wood. Same as the last one, she gets a one because this door slayed. This is Chef Hill's class. I give it a one because me and Megan did it and just look at the little ratatat. This is Dr. Toad's room and I give it a one because it's pretty. I give this a one because just look at it. Miss Eastham went all out. All I gotta see is all the movies that I starred in, like Draft Day, Remember the Titans. But more specifically, you really gotta see Safety because look who I'm holding. Gotta zoom in on that. It's Chris Marable. <laughs> like, if I don't win because I'm holding Chris Marable, it's rigged. Where's the lighting? We need some better lighting. We give this a one. A one? It's good. It's, it's the good. best. Oh my god. It's the best. Oh, it's one okay. out of three. I give it a one because he slayed. This is Mr. Barnwell's door, and we give it a one because, because the, the lights, lights are pretty. pretty. Oh. This is Mr. Kovatic and Mr. Smith's room, and the journalism class writes it a two. This is Gwen's room, and we give it a one because it looks really cool. One. It's the ROTC room. We gave it a one because of the detail. The journalism class final rankings are first is Miss East Ham's class, second is Miss Beach's class, and third is Miss White Campers class for all the doors. And for the most spirited hallways is third place C Hall, second place B Hall. And for the first place is Whitehall. Woo! <laughs> you coaching? Yeah, coach. All right, all right, Coach Justin. Yeah. Well, what's, the, what's the prediction for tonight? We're gonna win because, like, okay. look at our squad and look at the freshman side. Like, we already got it one. We're winning. What's the score? Uh, you, what you predicting the score to be? Twenty-seven to the field goals. No. Three. Oh no. To no field goals. Twenty-seven to zero. Okay, you heard it here, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, after the game, post match. Post coming back for a wrap up. Oh, you, 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 you. Okay, hey girls. Hey. Stay right there. Cause I go. Yeah. You gotta.
can't say it in the frame. All right, what's your name? Bro, I'm Sherilyn. Yeah. All right, what y'all think about the game tonight? Y'all ready? Oh, tight, tight. Juniors are on top. On top. Uh, these freshmen, nothing. nothing. Freshmen are nothing. Yeah, juniors on top. You already know. What's up? Are y'all on offense or defense? <laughs> oh, oh. They don't. Hype <laughs> Halftime 14 zip, you know, regular stuff that the junior class does. As you can see, we are the most motivated, most hyped, most put together team out here on the part of the field. As you can see, as you can see. Okay. Okay, ready? All right, so. Are you going to win today? Are, yep. Yeah, are you going to win today? Um, no, no, no other. Uh, These are the top, top players right here. Yes. Starters, starters. Yeah. They, they make yeah. a big impact on the team. And we got right. our, our three coaches okay. right here. Three of the victory. Three, three of our seven. 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 Yeah, okay. I think I could have been. Hey, let's get the win. We're going to win. Says Cream Pay. Hey. Time to walk in. We're not playing. Seniors are going down. Seniors are winning. Seniors are on top. Yeah.
Hey, hey. We're gonna do a game. I think we're gonna do a game. We're gonna catch the win, win the championship. Hey, hey, hey. How you think we gonna do today? You know, juniors always come with the good energy, you know, good teamwork, all that. Cause we're the junior class, you already know. That's just in our blood. I'm seeing a win here. Linda, you'll be on defense. I can't say anything before we actually get into the game. Oh, may I add that we won the spirit stick as well, so this is gonna be pretty easy for us. Juniors on top! Yeah! How do you think the seniors are gonna play today? Um, I think it's going to be good. The seniors are definitely going to win. Okay. The seniors got nothing on us. Okay. Well, the seniors are going to win today all the time. That's how we roll. Defensive coordinator. I got the best seniors class of all time. During our freshman year, we won Harder Pup, so we're going to be back-to-back -back champions no matter what. Okay. And that's how we're going to do it. We're going to beat these girls and go seniors 2023. How do you think uh, the game's going to go? I think that we're going to win, and it's going to be pretty pretty upsetting for them. Okay. I think it's going to be a close one, but I think seniors will come out on top. Yeah. How are you feeling about tonight's game? You know, honestly, I feel like the game's supposed to be for itself. The game's supposed to be for itself. Juniors, we're out for you, you know, but I'm not going to say too much, because I'll see you on the field. We'll see you on the field. Win on three, win on me. One, two, three. Hey! Hey! Oh, oh, oh.
And tonight we celebrate Homecoming 2022. We'll take this moment here at halftime to introduce to you your 2022 Homecoming Court members. Representing the class of 2026, Lawton Crows is being escorted tonight by her mother and father, Archer and Lindsey Crows. Also representing the class of 2026, David Hayward. Escorted by his aunt, Deanna Campbell. One more round of applause for those freshman reps, Ms. Lawton Crows and Mr. David Hayward. Representing the class of 2025, Maya Chichia escorted by her brother and Grant. Make it just as short as my friend. Also from the class of 2025, Miss Olivia Perry. We got our uncle Stephen and mom Sarah. Anthony 
Bynum. Scored by Mom, Evan Bynum, and brother Malachi Bynum. And our final gentleman for the juniors, I try to get Linda. Andre Simmons. He couldn't be here tonight, but he's represented by his brother Tristan. for the junior homecoming reps, Ms. Audrey Reinhardt, Ms. Maria Cavallo, Ms. Linda Young, Mr. Justin Reed, Mr. Randy Bynum, and Hunter Simon. And now, the class of 2023, Ms. Molly Morgan. also co-captain of the varsity better than cheerleading squad. After graduation, plans on attending the university to study computer science. Ladies and gentlemen, Molly Morgan.
Father Mike. Noah is a member of the varsity basketball team, and he is your senior class vice president. After high school, he will continue his educational journey at a university to be determined to study math and economics. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Noah Gorel. Last but certainly not least, Franklin K.J. KJ is the captain of your Seahawks football team, also a member of the varsity track team. Upon graduation, KJ plans to attend a university to major in health science. Ladies and gentlemen, KJ Holland. applause for the senior homecoming court, Ms. Molly Morgan, Ms. Emily O'Grady, Ms. Madison Manastra, Ms. Emily Groom, Mr. Bill Fielding, Blaze Milk Minkler, Mr. Norgrell, and KJ Holland. So how do you feel about being part of homecoming court? Uh, I feel amazing to be honest. We got an amazing student section, you know. Congratulations to the following people. The homecoming queen, Amy Broom. The homecoming king, Blaze Minkler. And on our faculty side, the emperor, Coach Brown. And for our empress, Miss Britt. Oh, show, what are we doing? We're hanging out the curtains for the dance, you know. Making sure everything's looking nice and right. Good morning, Seahawks. We're on Seahawks Student News today. I'm a princess. There's Kalia, she's a princess. You already know, I'm our Check jester of the school, you know. All right, so right now we're in event management. We're with our class. We got a couple people from other classes. This is Miss Beach. Oh, God. Hi. The event management leader. 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 And football coach. Okay, so we're um, hanging up the curtains for the dance. We're hanging up the curtains for the dance so that you guys can have fun. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs>
Alright. Oh, there's Miss Lee. <coughs> oh, wait, no. That's Miss Lee. There's just Carter again. I'm so ready. Oh yeah, make sure you're, you're doing, you're getting all this because um, Ron Mokes is going to come. Here is Miss Linda Young setting up some things. How y'all doing? Are you excited for the dance? Of course I am. Hollywood Hoko, you already know. Buy your tickets. Alright. They're $10 right now on sale. 15 at the door. 15 at the door. Alright guys, so we're setting up for the dance right now for event management. Right now we've got all these over here. A uh, bunch of curtains, you know, make it darker here. We got these trying to cover up the windows, trying to make it darker and get like a nice ambiance. And then we've got those couple just covering up the cafeteria so it looks more like a dance floor. And yeah, that's all we've done so far.